Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. That's the way they do it. No, that's the way they do it, see? In the movies, in the movies, they, they, um, the girl sings a song, see? Oh, you, you, you sit there and you, you think, oh my goodness, how beautiful, how beautiful she's singing and everything, and, and you can't see how in the world she can sing like that and look so pretty at the same time. Well, it's a trick. Hmm? That's right, a trick. See, what they really do is they record the voice first. And, uh, or sometimes afterwards, I don't know which, uh, at first, I guess, they record it first. And then they take the movie, see, of the girl, and she makes the same motions with her mouth. Yes, that's the way it's done. Exactly the way. And it can be done. Really. I don't have to prove it, I know. I don't have to prove it. All right, I'll prove it. Let's see. Well, here. Oh, well, here, look. Here's Franny's record, Peter Cottontail. The one she did for RCA Victor a couple of, two or three weeks ago. I will, I'll get her down here. And I'll show you. Now, wait a minute. Just stay here. Fran! Yes? Would you uh, come in just a minute? Mm-hmm. Hi, Uncle Bill. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, I was just trying a little experiment. Oh, well, uh, don't let me interfere. I'll no, we we need you for this, Fran. See, uh, Cecil Bill doesn't believe. I was trying to tell him about the movies mm -hmm. and how sometimes you know the girls uh, will make you know they look so beautiful when they're singing and everything. Yes, don't they? It's because they record the the, the, the song many times ahead of time so that. I can get the exact right tones and everything without making all the faces. Oh, and then 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 they sing it then back. Then they like sing it back. See, so they play it back, and the girl stands there, and she's all beautiful and everything in her costume, and she may have recorded the song in slacks, and she may be singing it in the movie in a beautiful hoop skirt with seventeen yards of of gold tool. Wouldn't that be a fascinating <laughs> thing? <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to prove to Cecil Bill that that can be done, and I've got I've got Peter Cottontail here. Well, uh, I hope I can help you. I don't, I don't know whether I can or not. Well, you you know, you did the song. Well, yes, I did the song. Well, then let's not fool around. Let's I didn't try. do it in slacks, but I had the music. You had the music in front of you? Yeah, but this is different. Now you know it, and now you, this is your, going to be your big test. Okay. All right, Joyce. Because you turn, you turn a little 45 on. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's warmed up. I don't, I don't get the, right. the pitch there very well. Huh? I oh, can't hear the just, pitch. Just a minute now, wait. Little, 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 yeah, a little button. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue, there's an orchid for your mommy, and an Easter Bonnet too. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, happy Easter day. For he's a thoughtful kind of rabbit who makes a steady habit of showing little rabbits right from wrong. He's such a hap hap happy bunny. Played it on 45. Yeah, I know it on 78. <laughs> 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 
so too and I'm sorry I didn't help with your experiment especially since you were nice enough to play my record. Oh, a real pretty record. Right? Thank you. I think you do very well to have to go in the movies and do that now. Well I'm not planning on going in the movies so. You're not? Are you? No. Well then I'm staying with you. But I thought maybe you might. Just thought maybe. Just the home variety. Yeah. Hey news today. News? You know that today <coughs> There's um, a station that joins our network, and it's the 59th station that, that Kukla Franelli goes on. Isn't that wonderful? It's wonderful indeed. What is? And just think, two years ago there was only one station. Can't believe it. And we oh, were awful glad for that. <laughs> we sure were. Still are. WTARTV in Norfolk, Virginia. In Norfolk. Yeah. And so they're all watching down there today. Cam Arnu is the president, and, and uh, Johnny New is the sales manager down there. Well, we hope they'll join us often, don't we? I hope Johnny makes lots of sales. Oh, I do, too. <laughs> sure you hope will. Hope he gets in the black soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's not hope for too much. <laughs> we shouldn't hope for the impossible, huh? Where's Ollie? Ollie? He just hadn't know. seen him all day. He was out for a walk today, no, well, in today? the rain. Goodness, I got soaked coming to work. Kind of a nice rain, though. It wasn't cold, well, but it was, it was kind of a awful gentle, wet. It was a gentle, warm rain. Well, it wasn't so gentle, but it was kind of clean rain, and there was kind of a... Kind of a to the air. Yes, there was. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there, don't you think? My umbrella blew inside out. It <laughs> did? And you didn't care. Oh, it made your hair so curly today. Yes, it certainly is. <laughs> the water always does. It doesn't when it gets rainy. It makes your hair curl up. Yes, sometimes. Well. Hello. Hello to you. <laughs> Hello, Kukla. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Hello, boys. Hello, control room. Hello, Jackson. Hello, Al. How's Mrs. Fashionado? Very good, thanks. That's good. Hello, Lynn, old boy, old kid, old buck. Hello, Al. Uh, you sound like Dave Garraway. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? No, but I'm not imitating Dave Garraway. It's just the way I feel. Well, you certainly are in a very dreamy mood. Ollie! Don't shout, Kukla. Not today. There's a, there's a certain... in the air today. <laughs> what do you mean, a... Oh, something... <sighs> to the air. I mean, sort of, um... <coughs> That's it, Kook. You've got it. Do you know what I mean, Fran? No, I'll go outside and find out. She hasn't been outside, obviously. Well, she kind of ran. It was in the rain. Oh, and wasn't it wonderful? <laughs> Ollie, come down to Earth. I don't want to. I'm in the clouds today. The Earth is all moist. Trees looking a little bit greener. The grass beginning to get that wonderful color. There's something in the air today. Something. A sort of... Sound a little bit like a steam collapse. Warming up. Francis! Yes? Did you go outside and find out what it was? No, it's still raining. Well, I know what it is. Well, what is it? It's spring. 
Well, it is spring. It isn't a real warm, oh, sunny day, but it has that kind of... It's a kind of a forerunner. It is. It, ha it has that feeling. You just know that... You don't mind it raining like it is because you know very well it's going to be, be very good for all the plants and the flowers. I think that's the only reason I shouldn't like to live in a place that didn't have four seasons. Oh, so much fun to see spring come, isn't it? It is. It seems an awful long time of coming, but I think I'd miss it somehow. Well, I don't know. It's coming, I think, pretty fast this year. But there are an awful lot of times when I just as soon live in California, too. Oh, I'd love to live in California for at least part of the time. It's so beautiful there. It's lovely. Maybe we could go this summer. Would you like to? I'd like to. Oh, well, let's not talk about summer. We haven't even gotten into spring yet. No, I know we haven't. But it's spring, a young man's fancy. And... You know, some of the things I like, and I always think about spring, I think, is a duet set. Fellows and the girls always sing when they're in love, you know, mm -hmm. on the stage. Or, and remember on a Saturday night, you are always singing beautiful things. Mr. Merrill, Miss Piazza, they're always singing lovely love songs together, <laughs> looking into each other's eyes. Yes. Singing in perfect harmony. I can look into your eyes, but I don't know about the harmony. Oh, well, I think you do very well. You do? Really? Who do you want to be today? Oh, well, I can't be Robert Merrill because I'm not a baritone. Well, I couldn't be Miss Piazza either, unless she'd be willing to have her voice drop a couple of octaves. But uh, I'd like to do a duet with you. Would you? Love to. Shall we do that one that we did uh, two or three weeks ago? My um, Love Loves Me? Yes, that's a little folk song kind of, isn't it? It's a lovely thing. It's an adaptation. Adaptation. <clears throat> My love loves me. Really? Did you like it, Alice? I'd like you to sing that at my wedding. Your what? Your what? My wedding. What's so strange about that? But you hadn't asked me yet. Oh, I, I just mean when I do get married. Oh. I'm going to have a spring wedding. I'm going to have a wedding perhaps in May so that I can have jonquils and, 
in ooh, all sorts of lovely different kinds of early spring flowers. Maybe, maybe Jack in the pulpits and little uh, wild flocks and uh, and uh, little Sweet William. Sweet William, and I. Sweet who? I don't know. Just an old flower. Oh, <laughs> but the spring flowers, the the May apple and the the lovely little violets that come up poking their lovely little faces into the sunshine. Violets don't grow in the sun. No, they don't. Really, a shady spot is much better for them. What's the matter? You're both prosaic. You haven't got an ounce of poesy in you. <laughs> He's got it today. He really has. Well, let me see now. What was I going to do? I can't just think about spring and flowers. And... Oh! No. No. When the... Play some dance records. Oh, well, good. Well, I have some things to do, so if you'll excuse me, I'll leave. Sure. Well, I know the Madame Mogulpus wanted to hear some. Certainly. And uh, I know that, uh, well, I'll show you the one I'm, I picked. All right. One of the little RCA Victor 45 albums. Oh, isn't this yeah. Larry Green. Playing Vincent Newman. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Time on my hands, more than you know. Tea for two, karaoke. Karaoke, that's what I'm going to play today. Karaoke? Yeah, I and you know, I what I like about this, these one of the little 45s, they're so wonderfully handy, and, and but they're so small. You take know, up you such can, little space. You can put them in a regular bookshelf, you know. And they're cute, and they come in such fine little albums. <laughs> well, I'll go and get a good seat, and then I can hear real well. Hmm? All right, friend. Bye. And you know, there's some wonder, lots of wonderful dancing albums. Oh, I'll show you those later. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, just in case, I want to show this, too. It does come in, in the 78, too. <laughs> um, I think Lynn is over there beside her big pile of our RCA Victor dance albums. Yeah. Oh, look at that collection. What a wonderful... That'll keep you dancing for weeks. <laughs> How about it, Lynn? How would you like to, to put it on and... Uh, let's hear a little dancing music. She's pretty strong. 
Yes, she well, yes. She's not she's not built very sturdily, but she's wiry. <laughs> yes, that of all things, she certainly is. Wiry. I mean, she's, she's a little rough. Well, why don't you just take it easy for a while now? Well, I, I thought I'd rest I might. up. Well, <coughs> yes. hello, friends of television and friends of the little gardener. Today we are going to start out our spring season with a oh, pardon me. Isn't this the time? Well, I didn't oh, know. Fletcher, I don't want you to. Who is the little gardener? Uh, I'm the little gardener. Oh, well, I just didn't know. You see, I. I'm the little gardener. Oh, that's my. Uh, this is my new television show. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, on here, you can do it on here. I'm auditioning it. <laughs> well, I we guess got, we've got a show. We're, we're oh, I know, but you can have another one. <laughs> but who's going to sponsor it? Oh, everybody in the world will sponsor this show. How come? You say I get contributions will come in by the millions. How come? I'm going to teach rabbits how to grow their own garden so they won't destroy other people's. Well, well I'm in on that. Worthy venture. Well, this is a project. I wanted to ask uh, Fletcher about that little matter. You know, I Oh, of... why, yeah, why don't you ask him? Would it be all right now? Well, I want to show how we plant the... Well, we can do it later. If I could take just a moment of your time. Uh, certainly, certainly. Come what come right in. I wanted to tell you, too, uh, you know, that our little friend, uh, Freddie, uh, I think it's Frio for in, in uh, WRGB in, 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 in Schenectady, you know. He's a real good friend of yours. Oh, yes, indeed, and I hope that he takes all my garden hints. Now, what was it, my good woman, that you wanted to ask? Because I certainly would like to answer all questions that have to do with gardening. Well, this, well I don't know if this has much to do with gardening, although it means unearthing a certain amount of material. Now, here's what it says. It says, dear well, I friend... I can burrow <laughs> deep into my past. <laughs> well, let, we have too much time, so let's not go too far back. Just listen for a minute. As dear friend, I'm at work on a book which has a title which explains it. The title of the book is People Named Smith, and it occurs to me that I may be guilty of an enormous and appalling oversight. The People Named Smith will be the main characters in this book, but there are also many prominent, almost Smiths, meaning people who married Smiths or have Smiths of assorted kinds intertwined in the branches of their family trees. Now, surely, among the robust and delightful company known as the Players, there is an almost Smith. Mercedes is actually the only one who acts like some Smiths I happen to know. I doubt if there's a Smith among Ollie's ancestors, although he too has moments when he behaves exactly like a Smith. Perhaps Colonel Cracky. There have been some magnificent Smiths among the Southern aristocracy. And as for Fletcher, Fletcher. I'd rather not go into that because the vast number of Smiths on Earth are greater, I imagine, than Guppies. But I felt that you should have a chance to say whether or not there are Smiths in your background. Because H. Allen Smith is writing a new book, and I think the most charming thing in the world would be to be in one of his books. Oh, indeed, yes. I'm quite deeply touched. So I thought maybe you'd just like to recall for a minute and see if you have maybe an aunt or an uncle or... Um... Well, I'm quite totally unprepared because I came up here to garden and to, uh, to dig into my little gardening, and I find now I have to dig into my family history, and I, I do recall somewhere, uh, somehow, of a... I don't remember whether... Name uh, Well, now let me see. Well, I had an uncle who was a blacksmith. No, I <laughs> think that's not what he means. Mm -hmm. No. Well, now let me see. Smith. Uh, it seems to me that somewhere in the family there is a there was a Smith rabbit, or was he a rabbit Smith? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Now, is that Smith S M I T H or Smith S M Y? S M I T H. You'll excuse me, I'm a little. Weary. Well, uh, Fletcher, I don't <laughs> want to uh, interfere with your gardening. Oh, no, I, I have no, I've given up matter, this I entire thought... thing. I'm going, I'll just uh, save this till another day. I mean, uh, why, really. no, Fletcher. Oh, no, I... this takes more than the time allotted for me. Oh, I think you have plenty of time. I'll be, I'll be happy to leave now, uh, Fletcher, and you go right on with whatever you were going to do. But, uh, well, I will give this matter serious well, consideration. Please do, for because Mr. I'd like Smith to get an answer to Mr. Yes, Smith right away. Certainly like to. Mm -hmm. Smith, well, well. Mm -hmm. Smith, well, perhaps. I believe I'll call father. Collect. <laughs> Roger. No. Never mind. I didn't hear you anyway. What? I said I didn't hear you. Oh, well, never mind. Well, that's okay, because I didn't hear you in the first place. The whole day he seems to have sort of done things to people. I was going to tell Fletcher that he was made an honorary member of the, um, the Master Magicians of America by Russell Swan. You know that uh, 
that uh, Fletcher is a, uh, he's a, an amateur magician. Well, he's just an amateur, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Francis, I'd like to talk to you. I feel so strange, I feel good, but I feel bad, I don't know how I feel. Maybe some good sulfur and molasses. What could it be, really? It couldn't be just that it's raining or that the trees are greening up or that the... Well, Ollie, I don't know. You're so impressionable. It could be almost anything with you. It must be love. Do you think so? Can it be the trees that fill the breeze? With rare and magic perfume. Oh no, it isn't the tree. It's love in blue. Can it be the spring that seems to bring the stars right into? my room oh no it isn't the spring it's in bloom my heart was a desert <laughs> you planted the seed and this is the flower, <laughs> this hour of a sweet fulfillment. Is it all a dream, this joy supreme that came to us in the gloom? You know it isn't a dream. Tulips just sprang right out of the top of my head. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. Brings back memories. The dragon prep. <laughs> These were the days when we used to get out and walk with the girls from the Gargoyle Girls School. Carry their books. Yeah. Kid. What? Remember in television. It's RCA. Victor. This is Burr Tilstrom. To borrow a phrase from my friend, Madame Ogopus, I might say, uh, Thank you, television friends. You're all divine. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Get your RCA Victor 45 records now at your dealers. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.